The National Road Safety Council says restrictions in movement, including nightly curfews, have contributed to a marginal decrease in road fatalities in Jamaica. Vice Chairman of the Council, Dr. Lucian Jones, says 114 persons have died in traffic crashes since the start of this year. In terms of the month, January had 44 road fatalities. In February, 39. And in March, 29. That's a significant drop. And when you look at the year-to-date figures, uh, we have had two deaths in April compared to eight last year, year-to-date. Yes, there has been a fairly significant fall in the road fatalities uh, between February and March. And bearing in mind that during March, we began to have restrictions of movement. And the last couple of days, we have had a curfew at night. There must be some relationship between those orders and the number of people who are dying. And Dr. Jones says speeding continues to be a major cause of road crashes in Jamaica. Especially around this cement factory where another two persons died about three weeks ago on a bicycle. And when you add that up to the three UTEC students who died in that area, it's five in about a month or so. So from our perspective, people are still speeding. They are still being careless. And that fact is borne out by what you see, the evaluation done by the police, whereas the main causes of crashes um, for this year um, failure to keep to the near side and excessive speed. So we need to continue to push the fact that if people just slow down, just slow down, for God's sake, slow down, it will make a huge difference. Sandy Williams, Frontline News.